Now that we had winter hiked, cross country skied and skied, it was time to snowshoe. For that, we opted to hike from the cable car middle station to Pasnoer Taha, have lunch there and hike back to the cable car. The complete hike was about 9 km, for an elevation gain of plus 400 m. Tina and I had our own snowshoes, but my sister and mother simply rented them for the day. To get to the trailhead, we had to go to the cable car on the other side of Ishgal, as only that one was offering tickets to the middle station. Once up there, we walked out of the station and for a while followed the ski tracks, past a small chapel and then up in the mountains toward Pasnoertaya. The hike was easy, as most of the way was groomed. Going out without snowshoes would have been possible, however, they definitely helped on the way back down. If you are interested in that hike, you can find our map on Old Trail in the description. <rire> ah oui. Là tu le vois par contre. We started hiking around 10.20 am and arrived at Pasnoer Taya at 12.15, right on time for lunch. There were many food options there, restaurant, self-service, pizza and so on. We opted for the restaurant, as we had time, and it had such good vibes. The food was once again super yummy, and they had multiple vegetarian options. That day we even went for a dessert with an apple strudel with ice cream and cream. Boy, it was so good, but just way too much. After that, we used the same way back to the cable car station. We looked for other snowshoes hike and alternative, but there weren't that many, as after that, you enter the heart of the ski resort and it wasn't recommended to snowshoe there.
Back in Ishgul, we chilled in our room, discovered the quill folding of the day and went for dinner. The next day was my mother's birthday. The hotel had put some decorations on the table and offered her a small card. We actually did the same and prepared the card for her with in it a massage coupon. That day we stayed with her and my sister and together we went for a morning walk. For lunch, we joined the group of skiers in Pardorama station. The views from there were beautiful and the food was good too. A cool thing though was that the highest Lego fan exhibition in the world was taking place there. Over 40 exhibitors from Lego fan clubs were showing their impressive creation. Some of our favorites were the Star Wars area, where Tina became the Empress of the Empire, a replica of the Naboo Angar, the castle of Hogwarts, and a huge island replica. Once back down in Ishgul, we went a bit around town, visited a few shops. I found such a cool piggy, and I should have got on it. For those of you who don't know, the animal representing our couple is the piggy.
today's quilt folding was a heart and we finished the day with an aperitif, a small birthday celebration and dinner. <laughs> but that day, we organized a chocolate cake through the hotel for my mother's birthday. It was so great and super yummy. The perfect way to finish the day and our time in Ishgal. The next day, we went back home and decided to stop in Liechtenstein on the way, our 42nd country together. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah,